Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? Today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this shoulder pad appear without using a shoulder pad because sometimes you want to work on a white fabric like I'm using right now. Or you don't even want it so thick. This particular tutorial will take care of all of that. Let's jump in. For this tutorial, we need a white turtle net because we're working with silver. We also need stones. We need claw stones or studs, like I like to call it. We need crystal beads in silver. We need invisible thread and needle as well. I forgot we to mention that we also need sand bead. And finally, we need paper, scissors, and pin. Let's jump in. Get the paper. What we need is about eight inches. Thank God the paper is just eight inches. And then we need eight inches by four inches. I'm going to use my um, pen to just mark four inches right there. Yes. Fold the paper into two equal halves like this. To make sure the line is in the middle. Yes, yeah, so that's it. So now we've marked it. We're going to pick the scissors and we're going to draw out the shape. At this point, whatever shape you draw out is your problem. So you just pick the scissors and just cut it out this way. And that's it. That's how to create the shoulder part of it. Like, i seen it now. Simple and straightforward. <laughs> but you can also tweak the design. So for instance, see what I just did right there. Twisted the scissors this way, twisted it down. And this is it. I could even work on the arc again by deepening this particular portion right here. By the time we open it, this is what it looks like. So whatever design you want, if you want a plain triangle, it's up to you. So this is what we're working with right here. I just covered it a little bit. At the end of this, it was insignificant, but I just wanted that little bit of curve because I didn't want it too straight. So I took two pieces of this tutorial, as you've seen, two pieces, please, to give it some level of weight. Use the um, pins to pin the paper to the to-do, and then I'll just trim off because that's the portion we're going to be working with. Pick my scissors right now and just trim it all the way. Now you can make it exactly, you can, I just let the excess such that when I'm about to use it, I can now trim it properly the way I feel it to be okay. But yeah, this is what it is. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it over because we're going to be working on the front of the fabric. Paper is just behind to create the pattern. I'll just um, take my invisible thread and then I'll tie it. Now, as I'm working the invisible thread, you may not see the thread very well because it's invisible, but I know you can get what I'm about to do. So I just tie it. I tied the knot twice. After tying it at the back, we just bring out the needle down to the front to begin. The first thing we're going to do is to put beads all the way around the edges of the um, shape that we created. So I'm, what I'm using right now is four crystals and one stud. So that's how I'm going to be arranging. You can use any arrangement you want. You can make it two, two. You can make it whatever. You can even use stud all three. It's up to you. So what I'm doing right there is that I'll just pick that and attach it and create that perfect round. That's the foundation. We just, we just take it all the way around. So I've started right here. I'll fix the next one as well and keep going till we go all the way around. So that is just, just to form the foundation. So whatever else we do, we're going to just be doing filling and to give us the perfect shape that we want. So I'll quickly just go around and then you see the aftermath. So having gone around, this is what it looks like. I've done that all the way around and this is just a perfect foundation. So I'll pick these stones right here and I'll place it however I want. You can put whatever quantity you want, but in this case I used four. So I just felt okay, putting the last one there will work. But whatever shape you want to create, however you want to do it, is absolutely up to you. Next thing I'm going to do right now is the fringe. So as usual, the fringe is going to be made up of sand bead and crystal beads. I can't put studs here, but yes, that's what it is. You can also use cup chains as a fringe if you want. But in this case, I'm using sand bead and crystal. So I'll just put a portion of sand and put a portion of crystal right there. I'll pick another sand, portion of sand, add crystal in the midst of it. I didn't have a particular arrangement because I just wanted it to be scattered sparsely. I just wanted it to have a nice mix that's not too perfect and too, um, yeah, you get it. You can use only crystals for the fringe if you want, but this is what I chose to do right here. So after I've done that, I just go ahead and tie it up. But it's important to note that what I did was I wanted the fringes in middle to be longer while the others will be shorter. So the one at the edge right here is supposed to be six inches. So right now I've made it six inches. I will now go straight to the middle and do the middle. I wanted the longest middle to be eight inches and then the two sides to be six inches so it can have a more balanced effect when it's on the shoulder from what we see right here we're seeing that the two in middle let me just shift this one off so these two in middle are exactly the same length and this one is slightly shorter so that's how it's going to keep going till it meets that six inches up there so let me show you so this right here is eight and a half inches 
or not even up to eight and eight and like four lines. And then the next one right here is eight and one line, as you can see. The next one we're gonna have here is seven and another um how many lines? So the next we're gonna have is like seven and half. The next we're gonna have is like seven inches. So that's how it's gonna keep going till we get to the top. So that's the same method I used right here. So it's ascended from that midpoint where we had the eight and a half inches all the way to the top this way. So that when it sits on the shoulder, it sits perfectly. Now it's time to fill the middle. We've arranged the stud where we want the stud to be. Now I removed the pattern because there's no more need for the pattern because that round thing that we did initially has already given us a foundation. So we don't need the pattern to arrange anything anymore because that round thing already gives us a pattern. I'll start filling. So what I used to fill it was stud, crystal beads and sand beads. Filling is absolutely up to you. You can use one stud, one sand, three stud, one sand, one crystal, like whatever it is that you're going to do, just do it. As long as you're filling. So I filled it to this point. I also filled it to this point and then this is what the finished work looks like. This is what everything comes together to look like. So that's right there. We have the big claw stones. We have stud in, inside it. We have crystal inside it. We have sand bead inside it. And I did a pair because of course it's a shoulder and shoulder needs two. So this is what it, both of them looks like. Now this is what it looks like on the outfit. Now see the arrangement I was mentioning when I said sitting on the shoulder makes it look pretty. So this is what it looks like. Now I place it on this black dress. Imagine what else you can use it on. Let me know how you'll be rocking this. Thanks so much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.